So, Katie, I hear it's pretty nice out. It really is quite comfortable outside. Breezy. You will notice that, I think, here this afternoon. But all in all, it looks like a great excuse to get outside. Okay. You know, a really pleasant afternoon unfolding already. Okay. And we're far exceeding already some expectations on the thermometer. Wait till I show you the, just the map in general and where we currently stand. But we are off to a nice, quiet start to uh, the afternoon ahead, other than that wind. And believe it or not, that's actually a frontal boundary crossing through. You look outside, and typically with a frontal passage, you'd expect at least some clouds. We have a few of them, but really it's a dry frontal passage so it's not doing much to uh, our atmosphere other than bringing about a little bit of wind and eventually a drop on the thermometer but let's take you outside I want to show you a very pleasant very tranquil view this is outside Cape May where uh, at the moment it's again a very quiet beginning to the afternoon here you will notice the wind here too but uh, still <laughs> for it to feel like at least late October or mid April at this time of year we will take a little bit of wind. Now, along with the end of the month of November comes the end of hurricane season, and that actually takes place tomorrow. But just to give you a recap, since I seriously doubt we're going to have any additional tropical activity by tomorrow, we are going to top off the Atlantic Basin season with 17 named storms, 10 of which became hurricanes. Interestingly, six of those hurricanes made landfall. Three of them were major storms, but there were six major category three or greater hurricanes in total. A couple of highlights. Who could forget that we had Harvey's record rainfall over 50 inches of rain falling in some spots and then Irma was the strongest Atlantic hurricane ever to be recorded outside of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico uh, since records began can't forget about Maria either leaving Puerto Rico without power for weeks on end and this actually became ranked as third for the most major hurricanes ever in a season so a really big deal when it came to our hurricane season this year but we were thankfully sheltered all in all here on the eastern seaboard at least up our way now we look at storm scan three, not a lot to really pick out here. We do have two fronts though, and I mentioned that dry frontal passage. Yeah, the front is actually draped back towards uh, the Ohio River Valley. You can't really make it out. However, the second front in line comes along Thursday night into Friday for us. You can at least see some cloud cover, a little bit of precipitation breaking out from that. That'll again get here Thursday night. So I'll take you all the way to noontime this same time on Thursday. A few additional clouds are starting to build by then. I think you get through the evening drive without any problems. It's really not until late on Thursday night into very early Friday morning that any showers would break out. But it should be mild enough that we only have to worry about rain showers. This particular model run is a little bit more robust than originally reported earlier on today. But regardless, I do think that the timing is pretty consistent and it really is an overnight Thursday into early Friday concern. But even then, by the time the typical morning rush is really wrapping up, this is already out of here. So you may have a couple of damp roads Friday morning, but that'll pretty much be it. Here's a look at those wind speeds. What did I tell you? X factor of the day. It may be mild and sunny, but you got to account for this very breezy afternoon that's unfolding. It's currently a 21 mile per hour sustained wind, no less. It's not even a gust, that's sustained wind at the Philly International Airport right now. So you will notice that throughout the day. Now, I have obviously had to up the expectations for daytime highs. We had gone 62. We're already past that. So we're going to shoot up for uh, about 65 degrees today. The record is 70. We should not come close to that, but uh, we're starting to do a little Little harmless flirtation with that value, aren't we? Meanwhile, we bottomed out to only 45 early this morning, so a solid 10 degrees above what's average there, too. Here's a look at the map. Pick your spot. Yeah, who's winning out here? It looks like primarily Delaware. 65 apiece, both Wilmington and Dover, and again, we are not obviously done with the afternoon, so give it a few more hours and we'll even exceed those values. Outside Pleasant Valley Middle and High School, you can certainly see some uh, leaves and, and branches waving in the breeze here, but it's still a relatively modest wind flow out this way. In the meantime, let's take a look forward because this is the last really warm day that you're going to experience for the next seven. We bottom out to a dose of reality, really, for the next couple of days here. Low to mid 50s, the expectation right through Tuesday. Again, Thursday night into Friday, watch for a few showers and the next significant rain would hold off until Tuesday. So mm. it's a very quiet pattern for the Looking most part. Good. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank Katie. Katie. Sure thing.